dissatisfaction and frustration is not of the Lord. I'd heard Dr. Bob Munger say that if you are frustrated or dissatisfied about something, then you're to ask him what it is that makes you so. And then to ask him to make you willing to be made willing to accept that circumstance. Well, I had some lessons to learn. There were times when I thought I was being taken advantage of because I was trying to manage this 20-room home. Bill was driving down Sunset Boulevard one afternoon, and it was as if the Lord said, as he passed a particular house, I want you to look into buying this house for the ministry. Well, it was, it was huge. It was a mansion. It was a lovely home, but you know, the idea of our living there was a little on the overwhelming side, particularly it was after we had two children that it began to be a little bit of a burden. And Bill would come in and whisper to me, Honey, there's dust on the piano. You can see it. And I'd hand him a dust cloth and I said, Go wipe it up. And my attitude wasn't really very uh, pleasant. But uh, I just, it was, it was more than I could handle. and. Uh, with my attitude as it was, and I had come to the conclusion a few weeks before that we needed to get out of that house, that this was just too much, and so I was complaining. And so you put all these things together with my frustration with trying to manage this 20-room home and Bill's schedule and uh, my trying to have a schedule. It wasn't working very well, and I thought the only answer was to get out of that home. And I'll never forget, I knelt at a bay window in our bedroom and said, Lord, you'll have to make me willing to be made willing to learn what you want me to learn in this place. I just can't imagine being happy here. Well, of course, you give the Lord the slightest opportunity to work in your life, and he's, he's going to do that. I said, well, what is my purpose in living? to honor, bring honor and glory to God. And how am I going to do that where I am? And he has me in this house. And I began to see what God had given me and the great opportunity that I had. And the Lord began to show me how I could get organized. And I set aside certain times uh, to uh, do certain jobs. And I learned that I could change diapers for Jesus. I could do everything I could. I was doing that was Drudgery, I did it not for the children, not for Bill Bright, but I was doing it for Jesus. And of course, I was serving the Lord. And so when we're willing to uh, be made willing or to fit into His plan, what a difference it makes. And I found great happiness in how God used all of that to teach me that uh, to adjust to different circumstances. And I learned a real lesson with the Holy Spirit.